Hi, I'm Jesse Evans. I'm a forward on the girls' sock and soccer team. Hi, I'm number 12, Celia Heenan. Hi, I'm Sarah Savant. I'm a senior, number 5, and I play outside mid. Hi, I'm Kate Ross, number 27. Hi, I'm Maddie Stomp and I'm number 16. Hey, I'm Anna and I'm from Norway. Hi, I'm Katya. Hey, I'm Ash Nagy, number 20, senior. I've played soccer my entire life and I've created so many friendships from it and I've grown up playing soccer with all the current seniors and when I was a freshman I played with my sister and I just really fell in love with the sport. I play soccer because I've been playing it since I was about four years old. I've always had a love for the game and I get to play with some of my best friends and make even more friends and be a part of such a great team. I play soccer because I've played it my whole life and all my best friends are on the team, so I liked growing up with all of them. And also I love how it's like a team sport and everyone always has your back on and off the field. I play soccer because I've been playing my whole life and I love being part of being part of a team and staying in shape. I play for the sport, love the sport. Also mainly I play for the people. Um, I've always loved my friends and I beginning freshman year I didn't necessarily want to play soccer. And one of my friends was like, oh, just do it, you know, it's going to be a fun experience. So I was like, all right, maybe I'll just try it. And it's, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I really love the team and I'm really happy I did it. I play soccer because it takes everything off of my mind and because I always feel home when I'm playing soccer. I play soccer because I've always wanted to be a part of a team and I've always wanted to have a family in a team, so when I was deciding which sport to do, I decided to do soccer because I knew that it has a great family and a great team atmosphere, and it's so much more fun to play instead of just watch. Um, when I was younger, my dad made me play, and then it kind of just like grew on me, so like now I play soccer and I love it. My favorite sock and soccer memory is probably beating Southern Lehigh this year because we weren't expected to be that good and we weren't expected to beat Salisbury or Southern Lehigh, but we went out and we played and we scored with even without LB or Paige and it was just a really good feeling knowing that we were like so much more than what they expected. Um, definitely one of my favorite memory was going to the league finals in my sophomore year. Also, all our water balloon fights and attacking the boys' soccer team and all the egg hunts and especially Ogre Gray and Bubby. Um, and yeah, just having a fun time with all my teammates. Well, of course I had a lot because we do a lot of fun things, but a few of my favorites have to be Camp Fowler, um, our Ogre Gray squad, uh, bus rides, As Long As You Love Me Rap, Easter egg hunts, and water balloons. My favorite sock and soccer memories are Camp Fowler, water balloon fights, Bubby, Ogre Gray, and pasta parties. Um, anything that has to do with Kate Ross. Kate Ross is pretty funny. Um, I don't know if it was freshman year or sophomore year, but Kate and Celia had this thing where they would run in like these super awkward like positions. I don't even know how to describe it, but they would do that and they would videotape each other and it was the funniest video I've ever seen. Also Kate's uh, full body flex, that's pretty great. Um, Anna, she's a good friend of mine now, so glad she's here. My favorite memory was when we beat Seven Lehigh. Just overall being a good team and like being one of the best, one of the teams to beat in the league. I think it's like so cool to not know, not be used to losing and just like win all the time.
Okay, my favorite memories are pasta parties, beating teams, and soccer games, and bus rides. Sock and soccer, it's a place where I can get away from everything. I know like one time I just had this really bad headache and I didn't want to go to soccer, but I did and when I got to soccer, somehow my headache just magically went away. And I was like, wow, like soccer just cures everything. And it just, it means so much that going to soccer, I can just get away from everything and just play a sport that I love. Although a lot of people say a sock and soccer does mean family to me, I can always count on any of my teammates to help me out if I need help with anything or if I just need somebody to talk to. Also, all the coaches are always there for you to motivate you and just be there for you. Sock and soccer means a lot to me, especially since I was I have been playing soccer soccer for since I was about four years old and I've always been through the sock and soccer program. It's like a great part of my high school career and I'm so glad I played. Sock and soccer means to me family. We just have such like a close knit group and all of us, all 35 of us, we're all best friends and we can tell each other anything. And I know like I would do anything for any one of them and they would do anything for me. And it's just, I just sitting in class, I just always looking forward to if we have game or practice, whatever, always looking forward to go see each other because you have a bad day, but it doesn't matter because you're like, oh, like I have soccer and it will be better than after that. Sock and soccer is a place where you always have like a friend to go to and you can always like be yourself and not worry about what others think. And it's a it's a place where like you can like put all your stresses aside and like just be part of the team and play soccer. Family, definitely. Um, it's probably one of the best things you'll do in high school, so it's it's like a huge part of you. And I think it, it's also pride. Um, I really enjoy wearing my jersey and I really love going to school and people like, oh, you're on the soccer team, you're doing this, you're doing that. I think it's like a great pride thing. A day without soccer is not a good day. That's it. There's like no words to describe what sock and soccer means to me. It's crazy because like I joined two years ago, so it's last year it was kind of not, the, not like I didn't know what to expect and I didn't expect myself to be like immersed in such a big family and have such pe such great people that I've learned to respect and become such great friends with. So I guess overall, Sock and Soccer is like a family outside of a family and it's always full of people that you can go to and talk to and they'll be there for you for, like throughout anything. So it's just like a family or a cult. Sock and Soccer to me, means everyone being like all friends. Uh, we all play soccer, so we have stuff in common. Um, we all like each other. We're like a family. We are good too. And we're just happy to play for sock and soccer. These four years go really fast, so you just have to cherish and enjoy every single moment and play with your heart every single time you go out on the field and just enjoy every second. Always work hard and play with 110% because the work you're putting in the off season and even in preseason and the, throughout the whole season will definitely pay off when you're in a tough game or when you just need some extra motivation. Always play with a lot of heart because sometimes when skill lacks, heart will get you through the game and can win the game. Also, always appreciate your teammates and all of the coaches and especially all the things Coach Oxy does for you. My advice is to always play with all your heart no matter if it's practice or a big game or a small game. Um, always go out and try your hardest and take advantage of these four years because you're really going to miss them when you have to leave. My advice for future players is to never take anything too seriously, like if you mess up a pass or flub a shot, and to like always have fun and remember that these are some of like the best times of your life and that you're going to want to remember it. Advice, always come to preseason in shape. I didn't do that two out of the four years, so make sure you do that. 
be yourself and play with pride. Honestly, the biggest piece of advice I have is to not take it for granted. Um, like I said, joining two years ago, the only regret I have is not joining earlier because it's been such an amazing experience and each time you step on the field it's like you're entering into like a whole different world and you can like feel it when you're sitting on the sidelines and you're talking to people and then you're like five foot away from someone who might just like make the winning goal and it's like it's crazy and now you know being a senior I know that this is the last week of the regular season and you know there aren't that many games left and it's kind of like sneaking up on it's gonna sneak up on you so just like enjoy it as much as you can and even though you know people say don't have any regrets I do have one regret and that's just not joining earlier so my advice for future soccer players would be to train off during the off season and always work hard never give up and just be who you are It's been such a wonderful experience playing with all of you for these past few years, and I wish you all the best of luck for future seasons. Thanks for making these past four years so memorable. I'll miss you guys so much. Bye. Bye, everyone. It's been such an honor to play with every single one of you. Um, I loved getting to know all of you, and all of you guys have made such great memories, and I'll really miss you guys next year. Good luck with your season. Goodbye. I'll miss you guys. Hi guys, um, I love playing with you, um, I'm going to miss you, and I wish you the best for the next season and for the future. Ha det bra, vi ses igen och jag önskar er all bästa lycka i framtiden. Bye everyone, have fun, I love you guys. Um, well this is goodbye, um, I had fun. It was a good experience. Thank you all for giving me that experience. Um, you guys will do great things next year because you guys will still be playing. And I'll come and watch you guys if I can. If not, I will hear about you guys. And yeah, you guys are good. And good goodbye.